So David is putting everyone in their places. As he is setting it up, making it easy for his son, Solomon, to follow through <laughs> with his plan in building the house of the Lord and setting it in order. First Chronicles chapter 28, we are in the Chronicles. Hmm. The details, <laughs> the records. <laughs> oh, I'm reading the King James Version. Grab your Bibles, come on. We must continue to read. Oh, we're coming down to the end of the book of First Chronicles. So come on, join me. First Chronicles chapter 28. And David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course and the captains over the thousands and captains over the hundreds <laughs> and the stewards over all the substance and possession of the king and of his sons with the officers and with the mighty men and with all the valiant men unto Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up upon his feet and said, Hear me, brethren, and my people. As for me, I had in mine heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord and for the footstool of our God and had made ready for the building. But God said to me, Thou shalt not build a house for my name, because thou hast been a man of war and hast shed blood. Howbeit, the Lord God of Israel choose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he had chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, the house of my father. And among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all all Israel. And of all my sons, for the Lord had given me many sons, he had chosen Solomon, my son, to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever. If he be constant to do my commandments, and my judgments as at this day. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, that ye may possess this good land. Mm and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. And thou, Solomon my son, know thou that God of thy father 
and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, mm, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed now, for the Lord hath chosen thee to build an house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Then David give to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch <laughs> and of the houses thereof and of the treasuries thereof and of the upper chambers thereof and of the inner parlors thereof and of the place of the mercy seat. Mm. And the pattern of all that he had by the spirit of the courts of the house of the Lord and of all the chambers round about and of the treasuries of the house of God and of the treasuries of the dedicated things also of the for the courses of the priests and the Levites and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord and for all the vessels of service in the house of the Lord. He gave of gold by weight for things of gold, for all instruments of all manner of service, silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruments of every kind of service, even the weight for the candlesticks of gold and for their lamps of gold by weight for every candlestick and for the lamp thereof and for the candlesticks of silver by weight both for the candlestick and also for the lamps thereof according to the use of every candlestick mm. and by weight he gave gold for the tables of shoe bread, for every table, and likewise silver for the tables of silver. Also pure gold for the flesh hooks, and the bowls, and the cups, and for the golden basins. He gave gold by weight for every basin, and likewise silver by weight for every basin of silver. And for the altar of incense, refined gold by weight and gold for the pattern of the chariots of the cherubims that spread out their wings and cover the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me. <laughs> Even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon, his son, Be strong and of good courage and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, even my God, <laughs> will be with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God, and they shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship every willing, skillful man for any manner of service. Also the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. 
thus ends the reading of First Chronicles chapter 28. Ooh, beautiful. So David is passing the baton <laughs> to his son Solomon. Mm. Ooh, may the Lord be glorified forever. Yes, may he be glorified forever. Ah, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord is good. His mercies endure it forever. Yes, yes, the Lord is good. Mm. And his mercies endure it forever. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So David is setting the pace for his son Solomon to continue on. He has hand over the plans, the blueprints, huh, for the temple. Already had the blueprints for the building of the temple. Mm, awesome. Let's go to the last chapter of First Chronicles so you can join me again as you flip the page. <laughs> Let's get to the end of the book. First Chronicles chapter 29 is coming up next. <laughs>